relax smile stands for relax stands for uh, refractive lenticule extraction the small sliver of tissue that's removed is referred to as a lenticule and the purpose of removing that lenticule is to improve the patient's refraction so that's where that comes from uh, the smile stands for small incision uh, lenticule extraction because only um, small just about 3.8 millimeter incision is used to extract that tissue as compared to say a LASIK flap where there is an incision that covers about uh, 320 degrees of, of a circle. So it's a, it's a vastly different um, kind of incision and approach. Laser surgery as first started some 30 years ago involved at first removing a good part of the surface layer that had to regrow so there was a prolonged healing period. It was then largely supplanted by a process whereby um, the re-sculpting of the surface was done just beneath the actual surface layer using a process called LASIK, a little flap was created. Now that's at this point beyond 20 years old. So it's a very good process and it certainly proved its mettle over time, but it still has its setbacks. It has a faster recovery than the other process, but it does involve somewhat weakening the surface layer because it has to be cut. And nerves are cut, which certainly temporarily induce more dryness and that indirectly prolongs the full optimal visual recovery and delays the optimum result. So the smile procedure does not disturb the surface at all. There is a very tiny cut in the surface and little sliver of tissue that's been remodeled is removed from beneath the surface. So the advantage is that all the nerves on the surface layer, which are so important for the lubrication of the eye, by and large stay intact, that the very tough front layer of the eye is minimally disturbed and maintains all the strength and toughness. So that gives us um, greater stability long term, a much greater safety margin, and much less dryness. With the uh, traditional laser re-sculpting procedures that we've used for those last 30 years, it has involved um, literally vaporizing the tissue, uh, using enough energy for that to be ablated, which uh, of course creates an extra amount of heat and there are some possible marginal but still some downsides to that. Besides, the most practical issue is that it does create ever so slightly a kind of burning smell which can be unsettling to some clients. But there's not been a real way around this. With this novel method, there is no tissue vaporized. Two minute cuts are placed with an extremely low energy laser and the actual tissue is physically removed rather than vaporized. So there is no, practically speaking, no heat generated. There is no burning smell. And uh, it generally causes the eyes to look as, as if almost nothing had been done within a couple of days. So it's an extremely amazing and I must say a very cool process which really um, it's actually blown me away in how um, good it looks and how happy the patients are uh, very quickly.